The Purple Surgical Ultimate Reloadable Linear Cutter Stapler and Reload Unit places two double staggered rows of titanium staples and simultaneously cuts and divides tissue between the two double rows. The device is available in 60mm, 80mm and 100mm staple line lengths and in two staple sizes, 3.8mm and 4.8mm to accommodate various tissue thicknesses. Each device can be reloaded up to seven times for a maximum total of eight firings on one patient. The device can be applied in abdominal, gynecological and thoracic surgical procedures for resection, transection and creation of anastomosis. Open the device by pushing the quick release button on the cartridge fork lever handle. Lift the anvil fork handle to separate the central hinge. Remove the red shipping wedge from the cartridge by lifting and pulling it out using the finger tabs. Position the tissue to be stapled between the cartridge fork and anvil fork. Close the device by moving the locking lever handle towards the device body until an audible click is heard. Before firing, allow 5 to 10 seconds for tissue compression. With the device securely closed, rotate the firing knob to either side of the device. Place the heel of the thumb behind the firing knob and two fingers on the device shoulders. Fire the device by sliding the firing knob forward to a complete stop so the firing knob is in line with the shoulders of the device. After firing, return firing knob all the way back to its pre-fire position. Push the quick release button to open the device and remove the device from the surgical site. After removing the device, always inspect the staple line for hemostasis. When a fired device is opened, the safety lockout device, also known as the blade housing, will deploy. The deployed blade housing safety lockout prevents reclamping of the device with the cartridge that has been fired. If reloading is required, firstly remove the fired cartridge, hold the device in one hand and press the quick release button. Lift the anvil fork handle to separate the central hinge. Using your thumb and index finger, grasp the finger tabs on the cartridge from below the cartridge housing. Then, push up and forward to remove the cartridge from the device. To place a new reloading unit into the device, hold the reloading unit by the finger tabs and insert into the cartridge fork housing at a 30 to 45 degree angle from the distal end until it snaps into place. Remove the red shipping wedge after the reloading unit is fully loaded. For full directions for use, Always refer to the DFU leaflet in the product packaging.